Chairman, Chairman Moore, and the system. Thank you so much for welcoming the Palau delegation and being a father to our many students that live in Taiwan and making them feel at home. It is indeed an honor to be here tonight. You know, um, Ambassador Cho, I don't know when we started talking about the travel bubble. I think it was in August or before that. Because when I was running, one of the things I said is we cannot start thinking about it when we get into office. We need to start thinking about it now. And um, as you know, one of the things that really has been hard for Palau is with no tourists, no income. We've been very fortunate uh, with strong partners to help us to get prepared. And we really thank the government of Taiwan, the government of the United States. We have Ambassador Island uh, Neelan here with us tonight is partly to show the demonstration of how partners work together in solving problems and, and really bring prosperity to these uh, developing nations. So, you know, the, the beginning of this bubble, and uh, I know earlier I commented that uh, Ambassador Wallace is always uh, diving. He actually works overtime. Feeding the fish and taking care of the fish is just extra work that he does. But really, working on this bubble, I think, has caused you to lose a lot of hair, too. <laughs> but it, it just demonstrates how important the relationship is. And the only reason it's possible is really because Taiwan has been able to really keep Taiwan safe. The Ministry of Health here, CEC, has done a fantastic job. And, preventing community spread and, and controlling the virus. And then our Ministry of Health in Palau has done the same. They have made sure Palau is COVID free. It's probably the only reason why Ambassador were able to be here tonight is because they came, they saw, CEC said, well, you are truly COVID free. And because of that, we can begin this sterile corridor. We like to call it sterile corridor because one of our doctors in Palau, Dr. Corte, always shares, he says, um, it's like you get disinfected before you go into the operating room. And so we had one more restriction that we added to this sterile corridor, which was you have to get a PCR test at the airport to be cleared to get on the plane. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're trying to keep the corridor safe. Even though we believe you don't have any community spread, we're just taking that extra measure. And I think that's why uh, we're doing what we're doing tonight, wearing our mask. Even though we believe we're COVID free, we still just take those extra precautions to keep everybody safe. And it's people's lives that come first. And that's really what we're doing is how do we open? How do we open with care? And how do we keep people safe? And so, you know, Chairman Wu, I just appreciate all that you're doing to help and promote this. Uh, I know tomorrow we have an opening of the new venue and uh, really helping not only our economy get on, getting back on track, but in the medical, on the medical side. We just appreciate Ching Hong being the largest provider in Taiwan of medical services to Palauans. And through this pandemic, every month continuing to accept patients. And I know I, many times I say, why can't you take more? And you know, it's been hard for us in Palau. There's a list of 50 patients that need to come. And then we have to sift through and say, who's the priority? Who do we send now? And that's a tough decision to make. So one big benefit that this um, regular service will do is allow patients to come and return when they're done and not have to stay here for the next month and wait for the next flight, which is very important for keeping people and saving people's lives. So, you know, uh, I just want to thank you and Ching Kong, the Ching Kong group for all that they've done for, the, for so many years in building this strong relationship that we have with Palau. I just recall many years ago that my father-in-law, when he got very sick, he came here for surgery. Uh, not surgery, but for treatment. And it, and that was, I think, maybe over 15 years ago. 
and it was your, your, your uh, the doctors at your hospital that extended his life and gave him many more years that we could enjoy with him. And I think that's what you've done to so many families in Palau by taking care of more than 5,000 patients, uh, 4,000 patients. So, you know, I just want to thank you. And, and now that you're a citizen of Palau, <laughs> that, 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 a very young citizen, is still a baby. <laughs> Sometimes you say it's a terrible tooth. They got to have so much energy. <laughs> but uh, that energy is what we need to continue to build this strong relationship.